the US, you won't get it uh, with this, you know, configuration. Because, right. Yeah, because in, uh, in the US, the, the black optics will be uh, standard um, equipment. So everything on the front that you see here right now, an aluminum matte optic or finish, will be in black though. So you expect it's black? Black yeah. optics. So we we'll just, you know, start with the surrounding of the single frame grill. Yep. In the standard version, it is an aluminum matte. Yep. And uh, for the US, in standard equipment, it will be in black high gloss. As well as the huge wing that you can see here from going from the left to the right. Yep. So this will, you know, in the US will be more aggressive looking, uh, yep. really aggressive looking in black. And which is actually uh, very cool because it really fits together with those uh, also black uh, intakes that we have here, the black single frame with the honeycomb mesh in it. And we uh, also kind uh, of notice uh, new detail, which is part of the new RS design language. Which are those uh, design elements here next to the um, yeah, to the headlamps? We will have that also in the front and also in the back. And those uh, design elements are, you know, what were inspired uh, from our designers from the Audi Insert BTO. So this uh, this good race race car from the eight, and they they just you know put those uh, this impression from the uh, as a design element and put it into the new RS5. And the nice thing is. That this design element is also, uh, you know, extending the width of the car, and that is also uh, a nice finish for the white um, wheel arches that we have. So we so are yeah, not functional. Right? No, they are not functional. We can really, I can really admit that those are design elements. Okay. Yeah. And uh, talking about the wider wheel arches, we talk about 15 millimeters each side as an extension, one five millimeters. Yep. Exactly. And. If you just you know take a look at the side, and there's also this detail of this uh, aluminium nut uh, finish here surrounding uh, the windows, which are also um, in black uh, for the US the standard US. version. What you also see here are the RS specific 20 inch uh, wheels. So I assume that in the US those would be also in the uh, in the standard equipment. So 20 inch will be standard in the US, and. Uh, those uh, wheels are actually forged aluminum wheels, so they are obviously lighter than cast aluminum, which is actually pretty good because uh, exactly at that spot uh, to save weight is, uh, is always good. So what you can also see here are the Audi ceramic brakes that we offer uh, for the RS5. And those are also even lighter compared to the standard version. So you have those ceramic uh, discs which are bigger uh, compared to, uh, to the standard uh, steel um, yeah, um, break and yeah, of course the the thing is that you have the weight reduction, you have a longer uh, lifetime, of course, and yeah, the, the optics are also very differentiated compared to the to the steel break. But ceramic brakes are standard on the RS. They are not standard. This this is optional equipment, and I'm pretty sure that in the US this will also be um, optional equipment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so moving from down to the, to the back, it's uh, also one thing to mention that those, this rocker bar here that you can see at the side is also something RS specific that is also uh, R, uh, on the normal S or A5 long tab. So this is something really um, yeah, differentiating the RS model. As well as, of, uh, of course, um, the RS uh, lettering here on the side, just you know, in, um, together with the honeycomb mesh that we also have here at the side. So the normal A5, they, it has also, you know, kind of this uh, this batch of, you know, this part, but this is also RS specific with the honeycomb mesh and the RS logo. And coming to the back, so we get to uh, walk around it here. And also, of course, the rear of the car, which is RS specific. And actually, the whole bumper is, you know, RS specific. And, uh, the best thing to see is actually the, the rear diffuser because uh, if you just you know, see this, those huge fillings at the, at the rear, this is really something RS specific. And of course, the, the black oval exhaust pipes that are displayed here right now, the, those are kind of a, you know, a sign for you to have um, for, the, yeah, for the sports exhaust system. So the standard version would be with chrome exhaust uh, pipes and the sports exhaust system features those uh, black more sporty looking and more sporty sound um, exhaust, exhaust pipes. And the thing here, the, 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 the part in aluminum matches not of course also in, in black, the standard version in the US. 
as well as the real product. So this is always a little contrast that we try to give the car to, uh, you know, to just uh, express the, the strength and the width of the car. That's kind of a, kind of a you know, design decision that, uh, that was taken to have a little contrast and to have a, a good differentiation to all the other S and A's or five models. So how much of the car is different compared with uh, an S? S5 or just an A5? Actually, pretty much so. If you just, you know, look, uh, picture the side of the car from this uh, position, everything at the side of the car is actually different. So the, the, the door would be the same, like the like the A5 or S5, but everything surrounding it at the side of the car is just are specific. So, so the whole... So new, new front fenders, new bodies, new single piece body size. Yes. That's, that's the same. And, and the bonnet? The bonnet is also the same, yeah, because uh, the standard version already has a very sporty uh, bonnet, and uh, that's something that we just take as a carryover part, which is some, uh, something that is different is the single frame. Yep. So when we just going back to the single frame, um, at the RS5, the single frame is just uh, wider and flatter compared to the A5 and F5. So this line here is actually the same. It's the like same. The, the, top, the top line of the grill the top is line the same. The grill is the same, but the, the bottom line goes, uh, goes up more, and it's also, you know, just uh, wider. wider. So the standard car comes down here and down to there. Exactly. And of course, all the honeycomb mesh that you can see, uh, yeah. as well as uh, in the single frame, but also in the side air intake, are also as far as the And the new thing is uh, now another part of the new uh, RS design which is not only those design features here at the sides of the car, but also those uh, three dimensional looking um, honeycomb mesh. So the honeycomb mesh is something that we also had before in the V8 uh, generation, but now with the new you know, design um, era. We put we put in very yeah many three dimension uh, three dimensional uh, you know, parts yeah. and something uh, also what we have as a standard is the quattro lettering in the surrounding of the single frame yeah so the engine is the two point nine liter V six the block is the same as the old engine no it's not the same like the old uh, engine but the same as the S uh, engine same as the so. S engine. So what we are, what differentiates uh, this engine to the S engine is that we uh, talk about a B-turbo engine, yep. and the S model just have a mono-turbo version. Right. Right. So uh, this is some something special. Actually, the engine uh, was developed from Audi, yep. and we share this uh, V6 B-turbo engine together with Porsche. Okay. Yeah. So it's not. So it's an all-new engine. It's an all-new engine. So this engine has nothing to do with the predecessor. The, the predecessor was a, a V8 high rev natural aspirated engine. So this one's really a, a kind of back to the roots RS um, engine with, uh, with a turbocharger, or two turbochargers in this version.